Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. I was in uh, a bit of bad books last night. So I said, me missus blew the pan off. <laughs> Wait, you know, did you she, off? We were sitting there on the settee. <laughs> and uh, I knew the part was coming on. Oh, hold on. Was... Two secs, let me just rub that. That's better. Yeah, I was... Um, I was with me, the missus, the two kids, we were lying on the settee. Video, premiere at night, popcorn with that. <laughs> and she says, uh, oh, I said, right, we're, we're going to watch the video for, from today. And uh, the, the part came on where she where I said she blew the pan off. I can imagine her face. I and bet she, she went just, bright red. She had red, a smile she? on her face because she always has a smile on her face when, uh, when, it, when, it's, when, she, when she's watching the video. And then as soon as she saw it, she went, <laughs> and I said, what? I said, it's true. The part where I said I'd got enamel the toilet. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> that, that's not true. But everything else is true. So, yes, I've just been uh, to the builder's merchant. Half six, he was out I this was morning. I was out half six this morning. Tell him about the sleepers. The sleepers. I can't believe it. They've gone up now. From twenty eight pound fifty. Twenty seven twenty eight seventy five. Twenty eight seventy five to thirty two fifty. So they've gone up an extra four quid. The last job that we did with sleepers, well the one before our dad's job was the big retaining wall we did. And they've gone from that price now. They've nearly doubled. They have, haven't they? They've bar, doubled. Bar four four pounds. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, yeah, bar four fifty. They've nearly doubled. How are people supposed to make a living when materials are so expensive? That's why we've got to keep doing YouTube, because there'll be nobody having any jobs done shortly if these materials keep going up and up. And I want to say, the reason I never put uh, any music on the time lapses last night is because I'm sick of hearing the same music. And, I know uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a voiceover rap. <laughs> I'm going to do a voiceover rap. <laughs> Who won't see that? Let us know in the comments. Give the te demo. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah. It was late last night. I thought, shall I speak over it? And I thought, God, there's loads of time lapses. I haven't got time for that. And then I thought, I'm not putting the same music on. So I'm going to look into it to see what actually, what music we can play. I don't know if we can play any music as long as we, have, yeah. as long as we put what music we're playing and in the... The title at the bottom, I think we're okay, but let us know what we can get away with, what music we can use. You can't, you can't get away with that. You have to wait for... If you state in your description what the yeah, music but, is, I'm sure you can. But yeah, but you have to get confirmation that you can do it. I'm sure you do. You can't just put like a, a known artist music into your videos without confirmation. The only reason I say is because the app that I go on, it says if you use this song make sure you copy and it's got a thing to copy the who sings I think it by who and... to do i think what we need to do is we need to invest in a paid app that's what we need to do with better music and better quality and we need to invest in a laptop so we can do something i don't know if it, i don't this you still got the situation of a paid app doesn't mean you can use the no song but they'll have it's... better you'll have better a, a wider variety where well, you, you can, can get whatever you can get whatever songs I can go from iTunes and everything from the songs. It's just putting them on legally what I'm going on about. But anyway, enough of that. Yeah. This is what we're on today. I'll turn you around. This is what we're on. We got that mound to move. We're a bit tight here in the corner. Diggers over there. It's going this morning. We've got trim up around the sides. Get rid of that. And then we've got the stone stone to drag round and we'll be away uh, we've got to dig some holes get that sleeper step put in the goal the, the post are going in the 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 aim today before we've got to go look at some jobs is get that step in get the post in for the pergola get this hard cord and we'll just keep the uh, goal at that for now eh <laughs> Oh yeah, because we've got 
got to watch, don't we? Got to prepare it, do. We'll get the ACOs laid out. Get them bedded down. I need to bring them this morning as well. The arrows one. Do they? Yeah. Took one back because it was the wrong. So. Let us know what you think anyway. About this, uh, this was a rubber roof. I'll go up so you can have a look. There it is. Trims are on. I hope, I hope we've put the, put the lockpick back, haven't we? Oh, look at that. that. Get that glued on, get that stirred. Pinned on, that's, uh, that's sorted. But yeah, if you didn't get it from the uh, the video, if we were on about saying it because it was falling down, that's no good. We're gonna level it out and drop it this way. It's just naturally, it's all falling that way. So we kept it with that way. We spoke to the customer about just putting the guttering on the front and they prefer, they prefer that. So that's the job. Who loves digging? Sick of digging. Can you imagine if we would have dug that by hand? Yeah, I can imagine. Blisters. My hands would have been my hands would have been bleeding again. Sick of my hands. Sick of my hands bleeding. We'll get you on a bit of a time lapse. Hey, hey, we're back. We're back. So, what we've done here is instead of traipsing through all this clay, it's a good job it's not raining because this would have been a nightmare. What we've done is started from that side there to the mouth of the patio area Hold where on. we're going to come in by the garage. Let me just turn it around. Yeah, we started there. Bring all the, bring the hardcore in and... This is what we've done. This is very important that you always take note in this step. Damp course, 150 mil below. That is where the finished floor needs to be. No higher than that, 150 mil. We've got about 120 mil of stone in here. Now, if you're putting out, it's, it's and that is plenty for a patio, especially on decent hard ground like this. Now, if you're putting it on a driveway, you would need minimum 200 mil. Well, that's what I'd be putting on anyway. So that is what you want to be shooting for. So it's very simple to work out. Damp course. No, I mean. All right, where were we now? Right. You were just saying about damp. Yes. So. Or did you move on from damp, didn't you? moved on from that but there's no good when you're putting a sub base down there's no good in thinking that you haven't got to dig the depth out because you can't be bothered or it's too much hard work because there's no point in putting 50 mil uh, sub base down there's no point so there's your damp course you can see your damp course right there and from the damp course you've got 150 mil that's where the patio came to before as you can see now we've got another 150 mil below where the finished floor level is so we've put 100 mil of stone in which is here we've got the 30 well yeah 30 to 40 mil base of um screed which is your full bed and then you've got your 18 to 20 mil 
of um, finished slab and that'll bring you nice back up to the level that you need to be it's not rocket science but somebody's just put a comment on drongo um <laughs> drongo. it's all right to uh, putting putting slabs down on sand because they move uh, they, it's all right um, and then when you put four uh, four inches of gob underneath um then the people next to you will be cursing uh, next time they'll be cursing saying that you've put this on there but what was this patio like teresa yeah. was it sinking yeah tell youtube yes it was, was sinking it like? was it all over the place yes it was a mess and loads of weeds come up in and there. what happens if you put a patio down on sand exactly what we're doing now it has to be removed when it fails over time and the water seeps in and it all goes all over the place it was on there's clay under here so there was no substantial sub base whatsoever and now it will be done properly so the next drongo that wants to come along <laughs> and rip it up to take them a week they'll have no need to rip it up because it will be as flat and as stable as the day we finish the job in 10 years 15 20 years time yeah. the only time you take it up is if you didn't like the the look of the slabs anymore but if you maintain them look after them there's no need to ever change the patio again but we don't think about what people want to do in the future with the garden we think about what the customer wants at the time and that's why we do what we do we follow the process every step by step and we make sure that all building practice is ticked off straight from dig out to finished job you all all you guys know let us know in the comments <laughs> what you think you know what i'm saying so yeah that's uh, just what i wanted to touch on so that's very uh it's going to be very good and our whacker plate will smash this down to ground zero what it do cool and how does it feel to be a youtube sensation on digger Teresa? Ace. <laughs> Fame at last. How many years you've been waiting? I'm not telling you. <laughs> so yeah, we're just uh, touching up on that. But the reason why we've left these these areas out here, because we don't put stone down and then start having you dig through um, stone to put the post in. So we've got the area nice and cleaned up now. We're having the step. The customer has decided that they want the step. Coming out here, the mouth of the door, about 400 mil wide. Then the, the Tregola posts are gonna come this side of the lights, so the lights are shining inside. This side here, we're a bit stretched for room. So the tails on the end of the uh, Pergola, the 6 x 2 this side, will be slightly shorter than that side. But, what can you do? And that's uh, that's where we're up to. Digger's that, gone now. That's the update. That's the update. And the next time we do a dig out, we're going to use <coughs> a power barrow. A power barrow. Because Dean has just decided that he's that lazy. <laughs> he does not want. He does not want to do this anymore with the barrow. Because he won't buy a new one. Listen. No, we would buy a new one. It's me that don't want to buy a new one. I'll buy a power buyer tomorrow. No problem. And a digger. Yeah, and, and, they left, and they left straight into the skip. Half a so. ton, each load. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I've got that picture. What's that mean? If you're out there, send us some uh, freebies. No walkie. Oh, yeah, I'm after a nail gun. I'm after a nail gun. Now, I really like the look of the high Koki, and I really like the look of the um, the pass load, but the pass load requires the gas canisters and don't really want that. So, let us know in the comments who, who, who out there are using the high Koki um, first fix nailer. It'll shoot 50 to 90 mil nails. So that's what I'm after. And if anyone wants to give me one, <laughs> I'll take it. And review it.
Where do you think you are? What do you mean? Comes to work with his M&S sandwiches. Look at him. <laughs> Do you want to see my sandwiches? <laughs> Go on, look like roadkill. Look, that's too much. <laughs> I hit my bread stale. <laughs> you has got actually, green on the edge of his bread. You can actually see that my bread stale. Look at, oh, that is so soft and fluffy. Right, open that sandwich. I want to see what that sandwich Who made your sandwiches? My missus. Your missus made your sandwiches. I said to the whole world that my missus blew the pan off last night and she still got up and made me them sandwiches. Sweet chilli chicken. I don't even like your... My sandwiches loads better. <laughs> right. Serious question. Let us know in the comments. Who likes ham that is pumped 80% <laughs> full of water and cheese that's not original? No, that's, that's proper cheddar. That's not original cheese. It is. Is it Gouda? Oh, it is actually Gouda. Gouda cheese. Such a nice sandwich, but he eats like an absolute animal. Mm. <laughs> I only got time to it. Just for an update. But that's the way you like your sandwiches. <laughs> I appreciate my sandwiches. It's ham and cheese. And you know what the worst thing is? I I have these sam these kind of sandwiches. Do you want me to tell you what the worst thing is? Every day. Last week. And I, I do it quite regular. I am a bit of a pain for it. Sometimes I won't even be thinking about my dinner. And I'll perhaps not even eat my dinner or leave my dinner in the fridge. And then my missus slats them in the bin. And then I can actually sympathise with why she says I'm not making your sandwiches again. But then she still does. But I can sympathise. Well, when you start producing M&S sandwiches like that... You know, <laughs> right, let us know in the comments, for you people that go to McDonald's and you, and you, that's advertisement, we want some money for that McDonald's, <laughs> we'll be in tomorrow, Sandy Crib, right, when you go into McDonald's or you see an advert on the TV and it shows a big tasty or a really nice double cheeseburger or something, you look at it or anywhere that advertise food, and it looks pristine. It's not proper food, that's why. They, they make them fake no, for no. like rubber and shite. But, actually, that is about as close that you can get to a, a TV sandwich. Without sitting on a wall, are you? You know what I mean? And the, and the taste... <laughs> The taste of that coming, my mouth's exploding. And then you just drop one of them in with all that English mustard on. Wait for the nose burn. Tell me about the bloke at uh, Builder Centre this morning. He was driving through, right? I'm, hold on. This is my side of the story. Even though I wasn't there. But I can picture what happened. He was driving through. I was standing there. Oh, you were st all right. I, I was all right, standing okay. there waiting he, to he, be loaded. He was standing there waiting for to be loaded. A bloke drove through, didn't realise who he was, and then Scott did this. <laughs> he slammed his brakes on, reversed. He reversed all the way back up the yard. <laughs> what did he say? He went, I didn't recognise you, he says, I've been watching you on YouTube, it's great. <laughs> That's an him at Milton Garden Products. He was buzzing. Shout out to you. Yeah. But let us know in the comments for real. Did you only recognise him when he smiled? That's got to be. <laughs> so, actually, I've just pulled some more sandwiches out. And people may not like it, but I love it. Coronation chicken with a bit of uh, spinach or 
whatever it is. And do you know what I'd do with that? I love it. Look at that M&S sandwich. Do you know what I'd do with that? Oh, Seriously. let me say, you'd slat it. That coronation chicken. I'd stick it to the window. Because I don't like coronation chicken. It's got them raisins in it, hasn't it? I just, I don't like it. I love it, I do. Mm -mm. It's really nice. I could eat that every day. I really could. I usually have it on a Monday, don't I? But you must have been shopping. Yeah. <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon. Mm. But this one, this one's out of date. That's why I've got it on a Thursday. Well, <laughs> Not so hot. No. I don't actually know. No, she went shopping Monday. Did she? Mm. Um. So it's tipped off. Progress report. Progress report. He is the home dog himself. All right, morning. How's it going? All right, Rodney. Nice and easy, boys. Nice and easy. All right, Rodney. Ooh, pagola. Pagola set up. I like it. Oh, can move them off. Sort of just uh, call in and have an inspection, you know, just prior to the roof going on. Yeah. Ooh, nice concrete mix. No post mix around here, boys, is there? We don't do post mix. No chance. That's not post mix, is it? No. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Put post mix in it first. Put <laughs> <laughs> dead, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. I know we use post mix. Just concrete, straight concrete. I like that. That's how you do it, mate. Look, you know them pumps I've got? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's off some of them. I've bought some new ones, yeah, you know when you're doing this now like that? Yeah, yeah. Just move it into place and then just... I've got... I need Garrow to clamps, you know. I've got tons now. Tons, but they're the... I'll send you the link on eBay. Yeah, I need they're to They're like eight... I'm going to spend... I've decided I'm just going to spend about a grand on clamp. You will not <laughs> see my clamp box. I bet there's about 500 quid in it, honestly. Yeah. God, when I think about all the clamps I've got, yeah? The three-way timber clamps are 30 odd quid each. I've got four of them. Dory box. And also, oh god, I've got tons of clamps. Tons. Where are we going now? We're going to the pub, aren't we? Are we? I thought we were going to look at our job. Six o'clock. Look at our job, are. Huh? You got any tins and yours? No. <laughs> what a stupid question. Jesus Christ. No tins. Oh, it's looking well, eh? Are they in? Yeah. Are they in? Yeah. yeah. So we got done what we wanted to anyway, didn't we? Double roof. Rubber roof, yeah, it's bolted that, doesn't it? Nice. I haven't been round since. Yeah. Oh, wow. Get you going, get you going, don't I know. That's, that's from what's it, like? I know. Delivery. It's Friday, then, <laughs> and Sunday, Sunday, what? <laughs> 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 He's chucked his tea everywhere. Morning again. Good morning again, YouTube. Friday. I don't think we've had too bad of a week, actually. We've had a very good week, actually, considering we had an absolute washout with that roof on Monday, which uh, set us back a bit, but roof sorted. Let's turn around. The digger, the digger lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, don't put me on camera this morning. Yeah, so we've we've got the roof sorted. We've dug this out. This is stoned up, ready. We got all the posts are all set in, all concrete is in, braced, ready. Today the pergola is going together. The whole thing. And we're going to show them how it's done. We're going to show them how it's done. Nice. And show you step by step. Step by step on how to build a goal.
Right, you already seen on the time lapse yesterday of how to set it out. All we've done, squared it off the house, set this post in because what I want to do is because the customer wants Aiko's here at the front, but with having this step here, we're not going to go around the step. We're going to go straight in front of the step here because really you don't really want the Aiko's clo too close to the house. So what we're going to do is that line there represents where the Aikos are going to be. They're going to come straight across there. From the garage roof, It's going to re the guttering's going to return off there, off the front of there, come down, down there. into the Aiko there, and it's going to come into there, straight into the, uh, the wastewater grid. We'll put a fall on it from there, coming down into this grid, so you get no standing water there. Same from the house there. We'll slope it back in so we've got 500 from the house to the front of the ACO. Nice and easy. Nice. So, yeah, very simple. That's a lovely straight line. Everything works out. Square, plumb, top notch. It's all concrete in. It's going nowhere now. But we'll keep the braces on for as long as we can. So, as obviously, we know that all the spacings are going to be right. 